Hi everyone, Sharon Charlie's Craft here. Um, I hope you don't get mad at me, but I have been working diligently on this lamp. Uh, how I made it, the DIY is, if you check my last video, you'll see I took these two Dollar Tree baskets. They're gold. Um, and I saw something on YouTube where someone made a beautiful uh, basket um, lamp with similar uh, baskets, only hers were rounder, and I thought, wow, I think I can do that. So I ordered the gems or crystals. I think they're supposed to be glass, but honestly, they don't feel like they're glass. Uh, I'm gonna check into that, by the way. But anyway, they were $18 for a whole box, and this is the box that it came in. So I, once I started, I'm really sorry. I had to keep going. I just couldn't stop. And then my son-in-law, I call my son-in-law, and now they're like they're married now, and I'm going to cut off. I put these little bands on here to cover up the zip ties. I zip tied the two baskets together. Now I'm going to cut these off, but I'm going to shut the camera off because I don't want this to tip over or mess up my crystals. So I'll be right back. Okay, I cut Hello everyone. Gold I forgot to tell you, you that you have to cut the whole bottom of the, gold the lower basket so off so it fits over the zip light ties. fixture. So, so I forgot to mention that, but it's very important. Came. Thank you. And strips like this. And I still do not believe they're glass. And I am going to write to Amazon. I just don't believe it. But anyway, so I'm thinking in order to cover this up, could I hot glue uh, the uh, crystal somewhere? Because I really want to camouflage this. This is just not working for me. I didn't like the way the ribbons looked, but I'm trying to figure out a way to put the crystals put something on here to cover them up plus I have the, Chris, the crystals I originally purchased from Dollar Tree I may use but I don't know if, yeah they're, they may work these are from Dollar Tree and there's no way they would work because I had no way to uh, adhere them together and I tried every which way I could I even thought of getting some ribbon banding with some sparkle on it and hot glue it but I was so afraid it was I do all that work and then it would fall apart. So I may just hot glue these on here somewhere uh, and tr at least try to hide it the best I can. I have the hot glue gun on. Okay, so what I did was, of course, like I said, I zip tied these together. Could you glue it? Yes, but I really wanted it tight. I didn't want to go through all this work and then it fall apart. So let me lower this camera a little bit. Okay. So I they came in strips of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I thought it was ten, but uh, little strips like this. And then they have a little uh, clip. Let me see if I can show you this little clip. And let me tell you, by the time I got done doing this project, my fingers were burning. So you have to open up the clip. It's like an earring almost, and I'll show you what it looks like. And you put it where you want it to hang, okay? Uh, so I would start, I started with nine, I guess nine, and on uh, each side of this, front and the back. This is the front and then the back. And because I was afraid I would run out of crystals, what I did was just three on the side, on each side, and then some hanging, five hanging crystals on the bottom. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to finish this. I want to make sure I have this right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Is it four? two, three, four. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I hang them and I'm going to, you can unclip them too. Like I'm going to unclip. I only want two. So I'm going to unclip it. 
and then take this crystal off. They come apart very easily. And I'm gonna hang it. I don't even know if that's the way. I think I just want it four and four. I'll just hang it right here to show you how I do it. It doesn't matter. So I clip it around and then I had, at first I was using my wire cutters, but you don't need them. You, I realized you really don't need them. You just take your fingers and press real hard. And it's not going anywhere. If you want to use a little hot glue, you can. So getting back, that's all you do. So you get your, your crystals and you hang them. If you want to use a little hot glue, you can, but honestly, you don't need it and design it like I was afraid I would run out. So I have, like I said, three here and then five crystals on the bottom. And then these are totally, I love this side. This is the side, the front I want to show. Well, I am so thrilled. And at the end of the video, I am def I'm gonna turn the light on. I'm gonna show you where I have it. I keep it right by my window over there. And uh, I have it lit up at night and it looks beautiful. Now. I paid $18 and the lamp is about 30, 40 years old. It's a very heavy uh, glass lamp. This is definitely glass. And I've had it, like I said, for years and I thought, wow, I can do this. Now, my son-in-law, I told him what I was trying to do and I already had the crystals on. So I told him on the very top of this case, of the uh, basket, I said, I want you to cut out all around the two thick wires. I, all I asked him to do was cut an opening there so I can put it down on this thing here and screw it down. And I think you understand what I mean. So what he did, he got some, went in the basement, he cut out the center part that you can do too, like with wire cutters, but I don't have the strength. And he put this piece of metal here and I just took my gold pen and colored it gold. I was so happy with what he did. He knew exactly what I wanted. A little hole to screw it on. And then I went, proceeded to put it right on the top and now here's what I have. This is this old screw to the top of the lamp. So what I'm going to do, since it's all dingy, I'm going to repaint it with my gold pen and I'll be right back. Okay, so while we're waiting for this thing to dry right here, it's hard to tell on the camera. I just did it. This thing really, really works good. It's just, you know, it's not that important, but if you're gonna go through all the trouble of the crystals and the hard work, because it is a lot of work. It took three days to finish this. Uh, you wanna, you know, you wanna make sure as many details as you can you're going to do to make it look as beautiful as possible so um okay so really all you need is a couple baskets from dollar tree if you can't find these anymore because they're old you can get another color basket and spray paint it and still do the same thing also on youtube they have ones ladies uh they how do you say that they um they, you, it's a, a, a hanging lamp. The hanging lamp, there's a lot of them out there also. So I'm going to see if I can do something to cover up these. This is gonna be a problem because of the way I have the zip tie. All right, we're just gonna glue them on, hot glue them on. And this, these are the Dollar Tree crystals. Just gonna Put it on right here and just see if it'll stick and kind of camouflage it a little bit it doesn't have to be perfect because the eye is going to go right to the crystals when it's lit up it's not going to look for oh wow there's a zip tie you know what i mean so i hope you're all doing fine uh, i've had a rough couple days i'm going to put another crystal on here with hot glue uh, I do have Charlie. He's in the bedroom sleeping. So I'm just trying to camouflage it the best that I can. Putting two crystals right here. These are the Dollar Tree crystals. In fact, you can't even tell they have like a little green tip. All right, now I'm going to turn it and do the same thing right here to try to cover up this zip tie. I'm trying to turn it. There we go. 
I turned it. This, this is going to be better. Like I said, these are the crystals from Dollar Tree. So I picked up Charlie the other day. Uh, tragedy happened, which I'm very sad about. But my, in fact, I better not even talk about it. My daughter will get mad. It's nothing um, that I don't think she wants out, but something very ha sad happened. And um, took my breath away, and I went over there and got Charlie. And he's going to stay with me for a while because there's coyotes, uh, coyotes sighting out there by my daughter. So you see what I'm doing here? See how I have the crystal? I just did it just to try to cover up a little, do a little camouflaging so to speak all right let's go to this one and we like I said we're using the Dollar Tree crystals when you go through all the work of doing a project like this this here you mainly are going to be focused on the beauty of this lamp so you don't have to worry too much about the zip ties or the imperfections and at one point I was wiring down if you can see I have little I had cut up little teeny gold wiring if you can see right here I cut about half an inch pieces of wire that was a really a tough thing and at the end of the crystal, there's a little tiny hole on each end of the crystal. So what I did to keep them from, you know, going all over the place, I just took a piece of this gold wire I have in my stash. And I didn't hot glue this because I don't think I need it. And I took my wire cutters and just smashed it together. And so far, it's so good. As long as you don't throw it around the room it's fine but that's how I got these to kind of stay stabilize okay now this one here the zip tie is really in the way but you know what I'm just gonna put something there and I I don't even think people will notice And yes, I am going to do the wreath, but I got so wrapped up with this project, I'm telling you, I was so worried it wasn't gonna work out and I just couldn't stop. And to do something like this on a video would take me a long, long, long time, trust me. So I just figured I would do the hard work and explain to you guys how I did it all right, so you can see the zip tie, but what I'm gonna do is see if this will work. I'm gonna put a little bit of gold here to sort of hide it. Like a, not hide, camouflage, okay? Just a little bit. All right, and they'll think that's a wire, okay? So I got one more side to do, and of course the zip tie is in a position I don't like. But if I move it, I may break it. So we're gonna just put the crystals on there and hope for the best. I'm kind of putting some, like on each side of the Zip tie. Just see, see right there. Okay, put the other one on. Off the side. Unless somebody comes right up on it, they're not even going to notice. So I'm just going to put some gold on here. 
Now, a lot of the people that I saw do these um, and put their uh, tied their baskets together. Just coloring this in. This actually isn't a bad idea. These. This is a Sharpie Gold D. It's a Sharpie Gold pen, metallic gold. If you want to get this pen, and that's how I painted the little screw knob on the top. Okay, so that's that. I'll do a little here. Cover up this zip tie. And basically, the eye will think that it's seeing a wire. All right, well, I'll finish up that later. But anyway, so this is the little top of the lamp. I'm pretty sure it's almost dry. And we're going to put, well, while that's drying, I have, I'll show you these. These are the crystals, and like I said, they come in a box. And I believe there's 20 strands they send you of nine. But don't quote me. And it's uh, and they give you a couple little extra clips. These little extra gold clips they give you with the box. And to make to buy a lamp like this, guys, I'm telling you, it would cost $150 or more. I'm telling you, it's they're very expensive. But while we're waiting for this to dry, because I don't want to screw it on until it's dry, let me just color in this zip tie real quick. It really works pretty darn good. Um, I'm going to show you a little project also you can do with the Jenga blocks. Okay, so I, you can see, I hot glued and used a little bit of E6000, and I decided to make a little visor. I was bored, and uh, so I did some sideways and then some straight up and down sideways. You see what I did here. Just kind of reversed it, and because I got that beautiful tablecloth uh, from Dollar Tree, which I'll show you at the end of the video for $1.25, I thought I'll make a little riser for my candle or my flower, flowers I put on the coffee table. And then I took some of this beautiful string and I braided it and then I just hot glued it on the ends. And then I used the little crystals and hot glued. Actually, I used E6000. The hot glue didn't work good and made little legs. And I made a little riser for, and, and oh, and then I varnished it. If you can see the nice shine on it. Let me try to give you a, there you go. See the shine? And I really love it. And it's just, you know, this isn't my favorite thing, making, uh, making with the Jenga blocks. But it's just a little something you can do in your spare time. And I'll show you that at the end. All right, getting back to the lamp. So now, I hope it's dry. Feels pretty dry. We're gonna take our little screw top and screw it on. Just a little detail for it. I can always touch it up with the paint pen because I can tell some of the paint's coming off as I twist it. I'm sorry. All right, so is this worth it? Yes, absolutely. Every bit of the work and the $18 I spent, well worth it. Because like I said, a lamp would cost $100, $150. Or you can make it into a hanging lamp and you can go on YouTube and see how they do that. This was a lamp that I had and I did not want to spend any more money on another lamp had it for a long time and I thought this would be a perfect base. So I'm going to uh, be back in one second. Okay, hi, I wanted to you know, talk to you as a minute. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, Charlie is laying in bed, the little king. 
Uh, as far as worrying about what happened in my family, it's just something to do with our little chickens. And I can't really talk about it because I'll get in trouble with my daughter. She's so sensitive and I don't blame her. So what you'll need for this project is a lamp base or some type of thing where you can hang the lamp. And I know I purchased uh, the inner parts of the lamp, but I don't need it because I found this lamp, had this one. And um, two Dollar Tree baskets and order your crystals. They're all type of beautiful ones online that are inexpensive. So you order them and you're good to go. So. Uh, like I said, thank you for watching. Um, I'm feeling fair. Hello, Mike. Mike's Cooking Studio. <laughs> I always forget that. I, I just always forget the name of that. Um, how I hope you're feeling well. Um, I'm iffy. I promise you, the next video, I promise, we are going to do the wreath. In fact, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm really missing doing my wreaths. I haven't done them in a long time. So I'm going to end this video with showing you the riser with my flowers on it. And I'm going to show you this gorgeous lamp lit up and the, where I'm going to place it. So take care. God bless. I'll pray for you. Please pray for us. God bless you. Okay, so this is the lamp. And it's going to be right by my big window. And honestly... This does not do it justice, this video. It just doesn't. It's just so beautiful. So much more beautiful in person. I don't know why, but my eyes are saying it's a little crooked, but it could be just me. But anyway, that's the lamp lit up and I have a Thomas Edison bulb. Okay, I absolutely love it. This is my little riser, which I have my pretty flowers from my sister-in-law on. And it looks so pretty. And it goes so beautiful with the tablecloth. Just something simple you can make if you're bored or maybe a little project with your grandkids. You just have to take the glue gun over. And let's get this a shout out to my fantastic friend who sent made me this a long time ago so okay and one more thing say good night charlie i know my room is a mess but we'll do this say good night charlie this is my king king charlie i love you you're not in the mood tonight to say hi to everyone well this is the king there's his blanket from Radha and Rion. He loves that blanket. God bless and take care.